morning family, friends and followers. Today I'm going to turn all of this junk into to this. As you can see by all this wood sitting around, we've actually been using recycled pallets and I'll put a link to uh, a pry bar that we've been using to uh, dismantle all the pallets. When we were doing this, we, we got some really long uh, pallets, so they're a little bit longer than the normal one. And as I started pulling them apart, I realized that the bottom of this pallet was a perfect uh, base for our chicken tractor. So I'm just going to leave it as it is and I'll build up from that. So I'll show you how we do it. In the spirit of reuse, recycle, repurpose, uh, this was uh, an old trailer that we picked up at a clearing sale a little while ago uh, with the express purpose of making use of the only piece of this poor old deer that's uh, of any use, which is uh, basically the uh, axle and tyres. The tailgate uh, we'll see another life as well, but um, the rest of it, yeah, she's seen better days. Um, so I'm just uh, removing the axle with the U-bolts um, here. Uh, they're a little bit rusty, so I'm using a bit of good old fashioned, oh, where is it? There we are. A bit of good old fashioned RP7 just to loosen them up, undo the bolts, get the U-bolts off, and then the whole axle will come apart. And that will become the mode of moving our new chicken tractor around, which will make it a lot easier. We're not using bicycle wheels uh, simply because the area that it's going to be going into tends to get uh, quite muddy and uh, then going to make it very difficult for moving around. We wanted some nice broad car tyres which will do better in the paddock and also gives us the option to uh, hitch onto it and tow it around as well when needed. That ain't coming apart. legs and put them on on both sides because they were going to be hard to get in if I did that last and I've made the top as well using the base to get it all square uh, so now I have to just do the corner bits and the bits in the middle uh, and then it's ready for some wire and Stephen's gone to pick that up because that is the only thing that we didn't have here.
day. I continued doing a little bit of work after dark, but uh, so far we have most of the uh, wire in the bottom. I've still got a little bit here to do. Uh, I put the frame up on the top and now I've just got to work on getting all the sides put on and the roof structure. Going to have to take off the tires to uh, enable us to put the sides on, but that's, uh, that's not a problem. I'll get uh, Stephen and his muscles to do that for me. Just had a bit of a battle getting this tire off. Tire on that side, undid the wheel nuts, came straight off, no problems. This one here, obviously it got a lot of weather in the, the actual uh, connection onto the uh, axle and was rusted up inside there. So it took a lot of, shall we say, convincing to get off. So after a bit of a battle, I've won the battle and I've got the tire off. Now before we put it back on to, so that we don't have to reverse the battle and struggle to get it back on, I'm just using some sandpaper now to clean up that uh, flange where it, where it sits on and uh, making sure that uh, all the gunk is gone. And as you can see, it's uh, picking up a fair amount of rust and weathering. It's obviously hasn't been changed for a long time. Just for the knowledge of our wider audience and all our followers, this is about as mechanical as what Bomber Steve gets. I can change a tyre, I can put water in, in and top up the oil, that's about it. chicken coop. We've done a slight design alteration. Most of the doors for the chickens are in the middle. We've actually put it to the side and the reason for that is we're having a fixed roof. The spot where we're putting the chickens can sometimes get a little bit windy and we were concerned that um, the wind may actually get the, the roof and, and lift it off. So, And also, as you can see, I'm gravitationally challenged and I couldn't get in there to clean this at all if we had a roof that lifted up. So what I've done is I've made a door at the front. So the door to the coop will come down here 
and then this opens right out it means I shall demonstrate that I can get in and I can clean if the wire actually gets a little bit um, too poopy so when this is closed there will be a lock here and down the bottom to ensure that doesn't come open but uh, for mo the most part it will be shut it's just there for cleaning purposes so as you can see Stephen's got the wheels off so we can put in that little bit of um, wire up there and we're going to have to flip this slightly and try and get the um, nails underneath to hold the wire onto these perches.